do this anytime you receive anything from anybody be it someone you know or someone you don't know hello everyone you're yeah, welcome back so in today's video i'll be telling you something secrets like something that is very difficult for people to know so this is one of the advantage of coming into this channel because i'll be guiding you and telling you some spiritual secrets that you should know to help yourself spiritually something that you don't need to pay for yeah, welcome back to my channel in case you're new here for the first time you're so welcome my name is pamela i share spiritual tips and messages on this channel i don't do spiritual work or sell spiritual items wherever you see my images or someone claiming to be pamela telling you bring money to do spiritual work to sell spiritual item just know that i'm not the one the person is a scammer may god bless you consider subscribing like and share this video let's go in case you newly got married or you did something great and people started congratulating you bringing in gifts bringing in presents or you just had your birthday and you start receiving gifts from people you know or from people you don't know so why i'm making this video today is because of those people that they receive an item or present from somebody but they, they are not free to make use of it body the spirit is telling them do not use so in that case this video will help you greatly also make sure you share this video because it will help so many people all right so in case you receive an item you know because that item has traveled from afar or because so many hands has touched that item or package you have to cleanse cleansing it will help to get rid of anything evil attached to it spiritually i'm not saying when somebody poison a particular thing that the cleansing will remove it no when it comes to spiritual that is what i mean anything that has to do with spiritual you need to clean so that that will be useless so that it will not affect you in a bad way so in case somebody did something spiritually and package an item saying that as you use this item that there will be bad luck that you will not get any promotion or you will not get any favor that good things will not come your way there are so many bad things that the person can want to plan for you so in that case this is very very important so have you heard of alligator pepper the one you can see on the screen so alligator pepper is a spirit is a spiritual item is is a plant okay is a seed as you can see it there are some seeds inside so I've discussed in the past how to open alligator pepper to bring out the seed. How to do it is to place it at the back. This is for those that, that newly purchase it or you just got it, you have not opened it before. You keep it at the back like this. You have to utter some prayer to God Almighty. Then as you are opening it, okay, make sure you are opening it from the back. As you tear it open, do not remove the seed from the back bring it and get some seed place it on your pan that is the proper way to make use of alligator pepper or to open alligator pepper alligator pepper is just like anti-poison a spiritual anti-poison i'm not saying they will poison they put in food no that is health this particular one of spiritual to get rid of anything evil attached to that present especially when you got a spiritual item there are lots of spiritual items outside there you want to pray with candle do you know that candle is a spiritual item not only to use it as a source of light no you can use it for prayer so anything spiritual be it olive oil you want to use olive oil you want to use candle you want to use any spiritual item name it or somebody did spiritual work for you and sending it to you you have to cleanse with alligator pepper or somebody sent a soap a spiritual soap just name it be it oil perfume cream you have to cleanse because that particular item has passed through roads has passed through forests bushes rivers so many rivers pass through the hair you need to cleanse this is why many people will say this is not working for me this item is not working for me you have to cleanse to charge it for it to start working and cleansing it does not mean that there's evil attached to it it means you should also cleanse it so that 
it will work very well for you. If you come across some of my videos saying use cinnamon, cinnamon attracts blessings, it brings positivity, it brings wealth if you know how to use it. Of course, with work and faith, it manifests. Cinnamon is a spiritual item as well as spice you can use in the kitchen. So if you purchase cinnamon, okay, you should cleanse it. Cleanse it with alligator pepper. Anything you purchase that you want to use it spiritually, as long as you have not cleansed it before, you should always cleanse it. If somebody gives you anything or you bought anything from outside, this is how to do it. First thing you have to do, you cleanse yourself. You that want to use it, that is the number one thing. Cleanse yourself. So the number of alligator pepper can be one, can be two. But when it comes to cleansing yourself, before you cleanse that item, you can use only one. You don't need to use many. In this particular video, this type of video, you can use one seed. You cleanse yourself. As you are cleansing, be praying, God Almighty, I cleanse out any evil that may transfer to this item. You have to cleanse yourself, to render yourself clean before you touch that item. Even if you have already received that item, you have already brought it, just keep it somewhere. Cleanse yourself first before you cleanse that item. So you just cleanse and pray for God to get rid of any negative energy, be it as you went out or come in or as you have carried that item, that God should cleanse it. As you are cleansing, if that alligator pepper fall down, do not use it again. Take another one again. Start again. Or continue from where you stopped. Just keep it aside. Take another one. Another alligator pepper. Then you open that package. Then you start cleansing those items. One alligator pepper seed to one item. If that package contains so many items, just lose that package. Use one alligator pepper. Cleanse one. Keep the alligator pepper separate. You take another alligator pepper seed, cleanse it. You cleanse them one after the other, one each, one each. Inside that alligator pepper, there are so many seeds. It will even remain. When it remains, keep it aside. You can use it next time. When next time you want to use it, you don't need to open it again from the back. It's already open. So after cleansing, then you pray, then you start using it. Also with present or gift that somebody gave to you, the same way, cleanse cleanse and pray after cleansing you don't want to use it fine after cleansing you want to gift it to somebody else fine but you have to cleanse it first because there are lots of people that will do evil work saying as you touch it just mean touching it you know but it will not be your portion in jesus name so this is why i'm making this video and i believe it will help lots of people may god bless you so go on and try it and yes before i forget that alligator pepper seeds all those seeds you are using cleansing go outside on a soil throw it on the sand do not throw it in the dustbin do not throw it in the floor of your house just go outside throw it back to the earth and that is how to discard it Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, share this video, and also like this video. I'll see you next time.